I never liked Stephen King. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like his stories. They're interesting with a slight perverse humor. However, recently his writing has really started to annoy me. Really? Totally. What about Salem's Lot? Every writer's allowed at least one good book. Exception being? Dean Koontz, of course. Precisely. Stephanie Meyer, too, the host. That was a terrible book. You mentioned Meyer and call it the only book she's done outside of Twilight. Yeah, yeah, but it's cliche to talk shit about something everyone knows is absolute shit. Well, come on, did you even read it? No. You only saw the movie, didn't you? It's the same basic story. I find the story simple and no way deserving of four books, a side story, and a retelling of the first events through Robert Pattinson's eyes. Ha! <laughs> now those last three words are the selling point. Mm. Nonetheless, Meyer is still a good enough writer to entice the masses. I guess. Wait. No, no, no. They glow. Sparkle. I refuse to accept an emo vampire into pop culture history. He's not emo. Then what is he? He's a vampire who doesn't drink blood until he meets the one girl whose mind he can't read and has blood that's like freaking awesome heroin to him. So he starts stalking her and watching her sleep. And that's not psychotic? I can relate. You're dead. So there's a difference between the living and the dead? My brain works, yours doesn't. Yet we're both still conscious. I eat food and you eat flesh. That's a big difference in my opinion. Yeah, it's true. I do like peanuts though, salted ones. But I prefer brains. Mm-hmm. I do like cow brains. Yeah. You eat intestines, and that's disgusting? I eat any part I can, really. No favorites, Blaine? Can't be picking with the 30 other zombies going for the same guy. Strangers fighting for survival. And we don't even need to eat. So then why do you? Why do you? We need food to live. Do you really need air to breathe? I don't. You're dead. Again, what's the difference between the dead and the living? We have societies. Rules. Yeah, our kind of one likes to gather around malls, bars, homes. I don't know why, but it's a lot of fun to gradually make your way up a set of stairs. We do the same things living do as if nothing changed other than the nasty decaying of our bodies. We're not free of rules either. I mean, gravity still applies. Apparently we're not allowed to run. Shot on the head pretty much ends it for us. And some of the ethnic zombies can fire a gun. I suppose. See, there's no difference. Zombies spread diseases and eat people. Yeah, we're pretty harmless. I mean... An overrated human can easily outwalk us. Ha, that's become a parody these days. Yeah, true. Woody Harrelson taking us all out with ease is not something likely to happen from a pot smoker. No offense. None taken. That was with Emma Watson, right? Emma Stone. Oh. Who's Emma Watson then? Hermione Granger. Ah, she's cute too. Yeah. Get them confused a lot? Who? The Emma's of Hollywood. What? Not what, who? Now you're playing my leg. If I did that, I'd have to eat it. <sighs> Ouch. Seriously, this is more importante. Okay. Okay, so there's Emma Watson and Emily Watson from Minority Report, and it's impossible to get those two confused, so don't. Get it? Got it. Okay. Then there's Emma Thomas, Emma Thompson, Emma Roberts, who's Julia Roberts' niece, and Emma Rossum, who needs acting classes as badly as Snooky needs dick. And then there's Emma Stone. I failed to see the point. Well, Emma Thompson's got the niche on acting, but as for the cutest, that has to go to... Emma Stone? Yeah, but Emma Watson loves the dreamers and wants to be in a Betcher and Betcher Lucy film. Ah, points. It's always the intelligent ones that are willing to express their body in an artful, some would say sexually expletive pornographic series and naturally human, albeit completely full frontal nude scenes. Mm, and to think I almost fell for a scene, kid. Yeah, but you do fall for girls easily. <laughs> So do y'all. You see a living creature and bam, you want his brains if it was crack and you're a base head. True. I saw this brunette once with a nice set of thin hair so I could easily rip it off to expose her brain. Very tasty. So I start making my way towards her, grunting like I've never grunted before. But then my legs start to cramp up from the potential beauty of this girl's viscera. Love, perhaps. But then I realize, hey, I'm fucking dead, Rigor Morris is kicking in, and I need cerebellum. So I did boyfriend's brains instead. Whoa. Yeah, it turned her on. Really? She took me back to her parents' place. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was. So what happened to her? She's in a psych ward. What for? Necrophilia. Ah, see, that just proves my point. Not so much. How long did it take society to accept interracial marriages? Uh... Let me rephrase that. How long did it take mass media to accept interracial marriages? Uh, I don't know. As soon as a black man became president. Yeah, but that's completely different. We're apples, you're oranges. It's still fruit. <laughs> you don't see me fucking a goat. Animals aren't observant like us. 
Okay, so what if an alien came down and had sex with a female human? Still part of the same higher ethereal plane. <laughs> now you're just starting to piss me off. Why do you think we grunt? Your skin is rotting, and eventually you'll break apart. So will you. You may think that you're conscious, but you're simply walking the course of human life like nothing happened. You're not perceptive like us human beings. You're not aware of anything that's going on or anything that you're doing. It's instinct. Predatory instinct to survive. You and I are completely different and will never be the same. Well, unless you bite me and I don't shoot myself to save myself from becoming a walking contradiction to life like you are. Wrong. I live a predatory life by the instincts to survive walking the course of a mock human existence. Uh... And by all means necessary, you would probably attempt to end your own life in the event that I tried to per se eat your brains. But that would be pointless because you would then end up infected like the rest of us and we most likely end up sharing a cadaver. Just because I like you. Well, I appreciate your somewhat morbid sense of empathy, but I think I'd rather be an organ donor. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna sit there and tell me that you would rather give your organs to some random guy out there just so he might save his meager existence for a few years before I hunt him down and fucking eat him, that is. Instead of giving them to me, who was already dead and would very much enjoy them. Not to mention he who sits before you as someone who would indeed call you a friend. Solely based upon the little time we've had together talking. I don't know about you, but I found this pretty enlightening. First off, you're a fucking zombie. Nobody wants to be dead. And you know what? You've just convinced me. I think I'll be cremated instead. Man, there's nothing better than being dead. No matter what you might think about quantum physics, reality, God, science, The Simpsons, it doesn't matter. I don't... As a human being, you lack the capacity to even imagine it. But you're right. There is a difference between me and a zombie. You have the ability to become self-aware while I'm just a walking replica of what I used to be. Jealous much? No. Are you serious? The most exciting, most enlightening moment you will ever face in life is in death. Because then you realize... Mind and body are indeed separate. Wait. Are you aiming at killing me? Yeah. What? I said, yeah, what's your point? I really don't want to be a zombie, dude. It's really not up to you anymore. And what gives you that right? Timing. Notice I'm the only zombie here? And you have no one to share it with. Now you're seeing the big picture. I don't want to die. I have a family. Ask yourself this. In the end, would it have mattered anyway? And besides, yeah, you can always turn your family into zombies, too. The more, the merrier, I tell you. The journey of the mind is well worth the price of admission. Check, please. Hey, darling. That's a nice head. Shit. Woo! That was awesome! <laughs> hey, be a pal. Put the check. Ooh, I knew that nothing rhyming, nothing rhyming, it's only so. Nothing else would come to me. This I know. Just to get smiling around, just smiling, bouncing my skull. For those who need it spelled.